a case study of what is actually going on right now in Lagos. There has been a project that has been handed over to the CCECC, it's a Chinese company, and they are the ones in charge of the railway project. Now look at it this way. The Chinese people handle the projects, we just handle manpower and they give us little manpower. We are talking of maintenance men that were flown in from China down here to Nigeria. They are handling expatriate positions, while us, we, we are the ones taking menial jobs. But now, let me tell you where it gets worse. They don't speak English. They don't teach us Chinese. So because they don't speak English and they don't teach us Chinese, let me tell you what is going to happen at the time their contract finishes. Nigeria is going to sign up separately for the maintenance of that system. I'm a graduate with a BSc. I'm on the streets. 80% of graduates in Lagos as at 2016 are homeless. Any Lagosian you see with a school bag is homeless. It's high time we stop hiding things from ourselves. The truth is out there. The truth is out there. We carry sweaters, we carry bags, and everybody is homeless. Everybody is living in fear. And let me tell you what is going on. Those that have the means to employ, do you know what they are employing? They are employing cooks. They are employing security guards. Apart from that, they are employing maids. So that's more job going to females, and the only job that is left for graduates is security, cook, cleaner. A graduate with a BSc now cannot do more in Lagos than be a cook, a secretary or a cleaner and let me tell you it's not easy we're already competing for that position now a lot of people they will not employ nigerians do you know who they prefer to employ they prefer to employ togolese people togolese and Ghanaians. imagine so tell me what what's lagos doing for me we are celebrating independence day but please there's no independence we are all in modern day slavery this is modern day slavery. It's high time that Nigerians get enlightened. We need to use our head. We need to come together and start thinking for ourselves. Now, let me get this straight because I'm on air. I will say it again. If you are with a school bag walking around in Lagos, you are not wearing secondary school uniform. We know you. You are homeless. And let me tell you who to blame. Blame your leaders that put you in that situation. And I'll tell you why. The same politician that stole from you paid tithe and offering. So go to your church, tell your pastor that you are praying to God, him too, you should pray for that politician that put you in that situation in the first place. I don't know if you people understand me, but for the few who are enlightened, it's good that you know. In order for you to solve a problem, you must first of all trace the genesis of that problem. A lot of people are seeing the problem, they don't know the genesis. They don't know the solution because they've not yet traced it down. And we are talking about selling assets. How many have we sold? By the time this interview is done, I hope they look behind me and they see a magnificent building that is standing in Lagos. That building is empty. There are a lot of great minds that could use that building, but that building is empty. It's just one of them. Oh. Go to Leki and see how many abandoned houses are in Elegushi. Man. So now you, you ask yourself, if all these things are going on in 2016, should I tell you what will happen by 2018? When the amount of homeless people in Lagos State have increased from 80% to 99%? So rich man, where will you be? Your houses in Leki are empty. Houses in Banana too are empty because you cannot stay there. So tell me, the, net, 